What is up everybody? My name is Famous from FLW Videos and today we are going to be talking about the new Pokemon known as Tornadus. So Tornadus is going to be released into Pokemon Go throughout the month of February 2020. And for this Pokemon in particular, we wanted to kind of change things up a little bit, talk a little bit more about the Pokemon before we actually get into the counters, so you can kind of get a ballpark idea of what you're actually looking for with this Pokemon. So you may be noticing a background that you've never seen before with this Pokemon. And the reason for that is it's actually the, the first pure flying type Pokemon introduced into Pokemon Go. This is what the flying type background actually looks like. So we will be able to see that that is pretty cool. Like I said before, it is a pure flying type Pokemon. And it's of course, like many other Pokemon, their secondary typing is flying like normal and flying for something like a Pidgeot, for example. So Tornadus, its primary and only typing is of the flying type. So of course you want this Pokemon to be a beast from the flying type. But when we take a look at the actual like potential of this Pokemon, uh, in all reality, the attack stat is going to be the thing that kind of stands out. And that's always a positive thing to look at in Pokemon Go. It has an attack stat of 266. That's actually ranked at 28th in Pokemon Go. As far as its other stats are concerned, they are, you know, pretty much middle of the road. Uh, kind of mediocre, but it still maintains an overall ranking of 76 in Pokemon Go. So at the end of the day, it is of course going to come down to the actual moveset that gets put on this Pokemon. And today we are specifically going to be talking about the top six counters for the incarnate form. That is going to be like kind of the just normal form. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So let's go ahead and jump into the counters. Up first, we are going to have Raikou. So with Raikou being a legendary Pokemon, very excited to have it on this list. It is going to be a very popular option, something that you are going to be seeing by a lot of people when you're going up against Tornadus. So anyways, as far as the best moveset is concerned, you do want to go with Thundershock and Wild Charge. And then secondly, if you have yourself a Volt Switch Wild Charge, you're not really dropping that much in performance, so you could save yourself a fast TM. I would imagine over time a lot of people have kind of transitioned over to Thundershock, but if you haven't transitioned over to it, not that big of a deal. So when we take a look at the ratings, we've got a 5 star on the damage, a 5 star on the bulk, and then a 4 star on the consistency, so definitely looking good. We're going to be seeing a lot of those 5 5 4s throughout this list. When we take a look at the rankings at level 35, we've got an overall ranking of 2nd for Raikou. Looks amazing. Not going to have a lot of feints or anything like that in this case. As far as the defenses are concerned, a lot of neutral situations, and in one situation, we are going to actually have some resistances versus that hurricane move. So that is going to be great news, not having to worry about anything in particular. And then for those out there who are interested in doing duos, trios, low manning, things like that, you could very well pull off a duo with level 40 counters and then of course all of the boosts kind of being in place. It is going to be a little bit difficult to pull that off elsewhere, but it is very possible to pull off the duo if you are interested in doing something like that. So now let's go ahead and move on to the second position. We've got Rampardos, so Rampardos is going to be the first Pokemon on this list representing the Rock-type Pokemon, and we've got the move of Smackdown and Rock Slide, and if you're interested in using another moveset, that's going to be a big no. You've got a 20% drop in performance, so definitely go with Smackdown and Rock Slide, and as far as its ratings are concerned, we got a 5 star on the damage, so definitely looking good. Until you move over to the bulk and the consistency, it's a glass cannon and we have one moveset that is really going to cause Rampardos some trouble. And as far as the rankings are concerned, you can kind of see where that glass cannon-like uh, performance is going to end up showing. It's going to faint a lot, basically. But hey, it's going to get out a lot of power, so who knows? Maybe leave with a Rampardos, but in one particular case, you definitely want to opt out of using it. And that is going to be versus Grass Knot. You are going to be weak to Grass Knot, so just be very careful using Rampardos. We have another Rock-type Pokemon on this list as well. But other than that, though, as far as the players need it, I mean, we're seeing some... Very good performance out of that. So Rampardus is going to be an absolute beast to end up using. So anyways, let's go ahead and move on to the third one. And that is going to be Magnezone. Very excited to see this Pokemon on the list. Got a lot of resistances going for it with its typing. We're going up against it with a Spark and a Wild Charge. And as far as the performance is concerned, you're not seeing that big of a drop, obviously. If you use Charge Beam and Wild Charge, it's just going to be a 1% drop. So once again, an opportunity to save yourself at least a fast TM, and it is going to be that 5-5-4 kind of setup that we talked about before. Now, as far as its rankings at level 35 are concerned, of course, this is going to be a little bit more of the kind of defensive, resistant, 
type option. It's not the most glamorous. It's not a glass cannon, anything like that. But man, it has some incredible performance at level 35. Big fan of Magnus Zone. Cannot wait to use it. And as far as the defenses are concerned, look at this. The worst case scenario is a neutral situation. Everything else is getting some resistance. And then when you're going up against Hurricane, you are going to actually be getting a double resistance. So definitely consider using Magnus Zone if you want to go about it from kind of like the bulk perspective. Staying in there for a long time, that type of thing. Up next is Zapdos. So excited to see this Pokemon on this list. It is a legendary Pokemon and the second one that we have talked about today. You do want to go with Thundershock and Thunderbolt, but if you don't have Thundershock, no worries for it. I actually don't have one uh, because of the exclusive move, but you can go with Charge Beam and Thunderbolt and pretty much get the exact same performance. So not going to be like game breaking if you don't have it. And we are seeing that 554 kind of combination on the ratings this time as well. So that's definitely exciting. And then when we take a look at the rankings for this Pokemon, we're actually seeing some very good numbers. The worst one being like the time to win, for example, ranked at 7th, but it still has an overall ranking of 4th, so that is absolutely amazing. Up next, we've got the defenses. Now, if we go ahead and take a look at this, we do have a couple of situations where we do have some resistances. And then, of course, the worst case scenario is going to be just neutral. So I think Zapdos is actually going to be a very popular option, not to take away from any of the other ones. Maybe like Rampardos, just because of its issue with Grass Knot. So now we're going to go ahead and move on to the fifth one, and that is Terrakian. So Terrakian is going to be the third legendary Pokemon on this list. And we're going to be hitting it from that rock typing with Smackdown and Rock Slide. A major drop in performance on alternative moves. So it has to be Smackdown and Rock Slide to get a good performance. We have a little bit different of a situation where we got a 5 star on damage, 4 star on bulk, but a 1 star on consistency. Once again, that really has to do with the um, whole Grass Knot issue. But hey, in this case, we actually have some resistances. So who knows? Maybe it's a better situation than something like a Rampardos as far as like bulk is concerned. Worst case scenario, you do have that neutral kind of situation. Not that big of a deal though. Uh, but it actually has an overall ranking of 5th. So Terrakian is looking very solid, very consistent. Minus Grass Knot. And finally, we have the last glass cannon to include on this list. And that is Electivire. So Electivire is going to be such a fun Pokemon to use in this case. You definitely want to go with that Thundershock Wild Charge. You're getting a major drop in performance despite still having some stab benefits that would still be super effective against Tornadus. It's just such a massive drop off, so I would not recommend using anything else. 5 star on the damage, 2 star on the bulk, and then a 3 star on the consistency. You can go either way on that one, but we've got a lot of neutral situations, and then in one case we do have a resistance. But as you can see, we talked about it before, a little bit of a glass cannon, it kind of shows in the power, and then of course the potions. It's going to faint a lot, ladies and gentlemen, but definitely a fun Pokemon to use. If you want to check out some more alternative options, head over to the Pokebattler site, try it out. Go ahead and check out some that are past the top six, especially if you're interested in just trying some non-meta relevant Pokemon, and hopefully this was helpful.